Let's meet the actors who star in the story of the world's most famous astrophysicist, Stephen Hawking. Catherine Chulich spoke to Eddie Redmayne and Felicity Jones. Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. Never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come, or from whom. What if I reverse time? to see what happened at the beginning of time itself. Playing Stephen Hawking is an incredible role. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Uh, but was it daunting when you said, OK, you've got to play Stephen Hawking? It was properly full-on wildly terrifying. But mm -hmm. um, and, and normally when you get a job, you, you have a, a little moment of ecstasy and excitement. And normally a few days later, that, that kind of... You, have, you come to the reality that you actually have to do the thing and play the part. But this, this time it lasted about a millisecond. So it was a millisecond of euphoria followed by months of fear. Because, I mean, there's such a physical transformation because we really see the degeneration physically of Stephen mm. Hawking. But as an actor, how do you t portray that? How do you do that? I mean, I spent a, month, a few months going to a, an ALS, a motor neuron disease clinic in London, and I was privileged enough to meet people suffering from the disease and, and to speak to specialists there and trying to chart what Stephen's mm -hmm. um, decline, uh, physical decline was. But I tried to do all of that work first because when you meet Stephen, he is the most, like, um, funny, sort wow. of witty, optimistic man. And, and his disease has nothing to do with that. He, and, and, and that's what our story is, is the disease is there, but, but it's not who he is, and so it's, it's an emotional, it's a sort of love story, really, and so I wanted to do all that work first so that when it came to working with Felicity, I could just be the two of us there together. People know Stephen Hawking, but I don't think they know too much about his private life and his relationship with his first wife, Jane, which you play. Tell me a little bit about her. She's amazing. Oh, woman. yeah, well, I mean, it was, it was quite intimidating when I yeah. first met her because I'd read her book, and seeing that she'd, you know, she'd supported, looked after Stephen for 25 years and had three children and and um, I just thought this woman's phenomenal so when I went to meet her I was like I should bow down to you, you know you're a saint, this is, this is um, I don't know how you did it and then when I met her she opened the door and she was this really lovely quite petite very friendly open open woman and and uh, yeah and from from talking to her I realised actually, because so much of, of when you're playing a real person, you kind of you want to absorb their, mm. their without saying too actually, you want to absorb their essence, you know. Um, and I realised that uh, underneath her quite sort of um, petite exterior, there was a very very strong strong willed woman in there. Yeah. Now Stephen Hawkins did come on set. He tell did. Me, tell me what that was like. It's pretty intimidating to have. Uh, Stephen Hawking on one side, um, you could, I could just see him out the corner of my eye, and then Jane Hawking on the other side. She, she was in one of the scenes, it was the, the early scene, the ball scene. It was a pretty surreal moment to have the, the people you're playing right on set with you. He was a little cheeky, right? <laughs> he, yeah, he's, he's, Stephen's got such charisma. He's really, he really is a, a, a rock star, and um, I definitely knew he was a rock star. <laughs> When um, he had he, been watching the scene and sort of we were all waiting with bated breath, you know, to mm -hmm. see what he, he thought, hope that he didn't find that it was awful. Um, and uh, he just said, he just wrote, um, would you please ask Felicity to give me a kiss? <laughs> but I love him and he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together.